Hello everybody, welcome to Philip Island for race 3 of the IGP Fan Tournament 2016 Season 2 Racing the Formula Renault for 30 laps, approximately 45 minutes Very nice track, a lot of passing opportunity, a lot of uh, uh, challenging and nice to drive corners You can find the qualifying information at the link of the bottom but uh, going quickly through the, through the grid Marco Mogren took pole position in uh, 125.7 Josue Leocata behind, beside him on uh, row 1 with a red and yellow car Max Venitz and Luca Varani on, in uh, row 2 Florian Carré and Darren Fraser on row 3 Gerard Macarivi and Clark Williams for on row 4, François Philippe and Marco Belfiore position 9 and 10, Francesco Bernardo, Cristobal Gutierrez, Joy Miller, Giovanni Salito, Marc Egea 15, Mark Underwood, Robert Simkins, Ron Wallace, Rodrigo Capeletto Ferre and uh, Luca Lonetto Gretti uh, finishing up the top uh, 20. Let's uh, go to the uh, broadcast cars are getting ready to start coming up the hills for the hill for the fourth corner everybody seems side by side but everything looks fine I spoke too early because uh, Marco Mogren has uh, lost control and spun out from uh, pole position. So lap 1, turn 2, we already lost uh, one of the drivers. Another car uh, flying uh, wide at the hairpin, but overall the group is uh, streamlined and uh, safe through the first lap. The green card he, car, sorry, going side by side, uh, I think it was Clark Williams. The position Positions shown on the left are not currently correct. Josue Leocata is uh, indicated in position 3, he is actually um, first right now. Now they are correct. correct. Varani is actually very close to Max Venitz. Behind him, uh, Darren Fraser and uh, Clark Williams. Behind Varane, I mean. Darren getting close under under braking. A couple of cars running wide at the hairpin. Cristobal Gutierrez just overtook uh, Gianni Sellito, not uh, on camera. We are looking at uh, Darren Fraser with a uh, red and an orange car. Everybody single five gaps are uh, about 0 0.4 seconds between every car on the track. Please, uh, Red car is uh, Marco Belfiore, no, 
no, he's not. Um, I'm not sure somebody actually seemed close to Gerard Macarivi, but I must have gotten some information wrong. Clark Williams with a green car. Marche Gea with a black, white and green car passing uh, Rodrigo Ferreira on the inside. Behind them is uh, Robert Fiars with a blue car. Mark Underwood with the other blue car. Steve Morris, red car behind them. Clark Williams very close to Darren Frazier. Battle for position 5. Uh, four actually behind them is uh, Florian Carré the French driving the black, uh, yellow and white uh, Renault colors Clark uh, getting on the outside outside for uh, turn 1 We see if we can conclude the pass. Yes, and uh, let's look quickly at. Uh, I lost it. Gerard Macarivi was uh, trying to attack uh, Francois Felipe, and uh, he managed to. Position 19. Robert Skin Simpkins uh, overtook uh, Ralph uh, Kemmerer. Clark Williams, and again. Darren Frazier side by side that gave uh, Barani a little uh, briefing space so it's uh, lap 4 completed or uh, almost completed sorry now Darren Frazier is uh, under attack by Florian Carré going wide at the uh, I forgot the name of his corner I apologize so he was passed by a couple of cars Francesco Bernardo Gerard Macarivi Francois Philippe now side by side with Florian Francois in the light green car with uh, Marco Belfiore behind them are we gonna make it three wide in total turn one not really lap time information is uh, 126.6 uh, uh, for uh, Josue Leocata the best lap 126.4 for, for Max Venets so he is actually Getting closer is now one second, 0 0.9 seconds behind uh, the leader. Cars are uh, close to each other everywhere. Marco Belfiore is now on camera with a red and yellow car. Cristobal Gutierrez behind him. Joy, Joy Miller with a red and uh, light blue car. Let's see, Florian Carré was actually uh, close to the other cars. I don't think he can actually attack before the start-finish line. Max Venitz, meanwhile, 0 0.7 seconds is actually catching Josue Leocata for the lead. 126.39, that's the fastest lap of the race for... Uh, um, What's his name? Sorry for uh, Max Venitz. Gerard Macarivi, meanwhile, uh, overtook uh, Francesco Bernardo, who is now getting back at him. Position 6.
let's have a quick look at uh, another battle is uh, Steve Morris, Mark Underwood and uh, Robert Simpkins battle for uh, 17 the blue car uh, is uh, uh, Mark An Underwood that was uh, uh, Mark Egea dropping back after a spin I assume Robert Sinkins with a grey car very close to Mark we'll see if it will be able to pass meanwhile Francois Philippe and Florian Carré are going side by side on the start finish line Mark uh, defending successfully let's look at them uh, Florian and Philippe they actually went side by side through the for the old corners. Let's try to see a replay of a, their action. Meanwhile, uh, Darren Frazier was uh, uh, spinning on the inside we'll, of the hairpin. We'll catch it uh, in the replay, I guess. So, battle for 8th place, Florian Carré diving on the inside, turn 1 is uh, very fast, there is uh, slight braking when you're going, uh, slight uh, lifting when you're going side by side, also I didn't catch it earlier, uh, Gianni Celito over to Cristobal Gutierrez for position 12. Ron Wallace passing Charlie Parker. Well done here by both drivers, giving each other a lot of room, a lot of uh, respect. And Florian actually finishing the pass uh, under uh, uh, on the outside, outside of uh, Siberia. These are the leaders, Max Venitz now only 0.5 seconds behind uh, Josue Leocata, whereas uh, Clark Williams has uh, uh, reached, uh, coked uh, Varani for position 3. Let's get the driver gap information uh, on the screen it's a little large we'll actually try to fix it for the next broadcast meanwhile Max Venice on the outside with a yellow car trying to pass uh, Josue for the lead. Very nice livery from Josue, I like it. So we are looking at uh, Max Bennett's uh, data while well, information is uh, in the middle, there is actually not his name. 126.38 is the last lap for him, it's also the fastest lap of the race. 26.4 by Josue, 26.8, Luca Varani is actually losing time. Max on the inside, taking the lead. We'll see if uh, the pass will stick, it seems so. So Max was able to close a 1.5 seconds gap. We'll see if he will have the pace to, um, to move up to, how do you say, to 
create a gap meanwhile not on camera uh, Clark Williams spun out uh, on the last corner and uh, dropped to position 11 it was actually 4 catching uh, Varane <coughs> catching Varane he spun out it's the third race uh, in a row that he actually spins out of a very good position going back at the battle for uh, position 5 really it's Florian Carré Gerard Macarivi François Philippe Marco Belfiore Joy Miller Darren Fraser Clark Williams now and uh, um, Gianni Selito Cristobal Gutierrez all these drivers are within 0.5 seconds more or less of uh, each other You can see the gaps on the left. Max Benitz is now 0.5 seconds ahead of Josue Leocata. Uh, let's have a quick look at them, the other side of the hairpin. Robert Sinkins and Mark Egea exchanging position. I'm not sure what was going on there. Somebody dropped behind. I kind of missed who it was whereas uh, Mark and Robert are now side by side getting into Siberia very close racing well done by both of them Ron Wallace dropped a few places he was wide at the airpin and Mark has gained uh, position 16 Marco Belfiore on the outside of Francois not uh, being able to make the pass stick before uh, turn 1 Mark Egea now behind Robert Simkins again. Let's see another replay. Let's see if uh, I can catch the action. Position 16, Mark for Mark. A little down in the field here at uh, Philip Island. It was uh, faster above uh, Spa and uh, Zandvoort nice and clean pass by Robert in the grey car just on the inside of turn 1 going back to the battle for uh, position 5 to, to 8 Darren Frazier, Frazier has dropped uh, another couple of places some problems for him is now 13 ahead of uh, Rodrigo chasing Cristobal Cristobal with a yellow car position 12 for him Let's go back to the battle for uh, position 7. Mm -hmm. 
Marco just passing and Felipe running uh, a little wide, but now he's actually Marco spinning. So that was quite some change. Marco Belfiore is dropping, of course, through the standings. Clark Williams taking advantage of the situation and uh, gaining a couple of places. Again, a quick replay just to see a little better what was going on. Felipe was uh, slow after the off track and Clark uh, could just have a good run at him towards the slow airpin, second gear. Nice and clean passing, chasing uh, Joy Miller now, with another uh, livery that I really like. Meanwhile, uh, Josue Leocata and Luca Varani only one second behind uh, the two of them now, with uh, Max Venitz another one second behind. Mark Egea and Robert Simkins still uh, battling for position uh, 16. Let's try to put the map on the screen. The pack is still uh, uh, rather compact, but Florian Carré and Francesco Bernardo some good, uh, nice side-by-side -side racing. Let's see how it goes at the hairpin and then We'll watch a replay once again. Gerard Macarivi um, gaining a lot on them, of course. Going side by side through all these corners is uh, a lot of fun, but certainly not uh, the fastest way around the track. One twenty six point two meanwhile the fastest lap for Max Venitz in uh, position one twenty six point four for uh, Barani and Leocata behind him. Felipe passing Williams, just uh, Clark Williams was wide once again in the last corner. And uh, Ron Wallace overtaking Robert Sinkins that must have had some problems too. Florian Carré back in position 4, Robert Fiers passing uh, Robert Simpkins. Fiers with uh, Blue River in number 74, currently in position 19. Behind him Robert Simpkins and uh, Charlie Parker, we did not put uh, so there is, uh, sorry, there is another car uh, behind them, or close to them, is actually Luca Gretti, he is uh, lapped with a green and grey livery, he is in position 24. Gerard Macarivi being passed by Joey Miller is very slow, I'm not sure what happened. Once again, let's look at the replay. Francesco Bernardo passing Florian Carré once again. 
these guys are having a lot of fun. Maybe I should keep the cameras on them. Well done by Joy to avoid uh, Gerard, that was very slow, after his uh, half-track. So if you look at the map, you can see that uh, the top three are uh, running together with uh, a little gap. It's actually uh, about 11 seconds, the gap between Varani and uh, Bernardo in position four. Felipe on the inside of Gerard getting the pass stake, position 8 for uh, Francois. Sorry, I keep calling him Philippe, that's actually the surname. Again, let me know if the pronunciation is uh, terrible. Clark Williams, uh, uh, he was passing Darren Frazier, that's what the lap timing was saying, but I actually missed it, whereas uh, Robert Sinkins and uh, Robert Fiers just overtook each other on the uh, start finish straight. We are meanwhile uh, almost halfway through the race, it is uh, 16 laps to go out of uh, 30. Nice and clean pass in uh, turn one for Robert, but then he ran a little wide uh, on turn two. Turn two can be a very diff difficult uh, corner. Ooh, Robert Fiers almost uh, rear-ending Robert Sinkins and uh, actually taking uh, evasive actions and he retired, so something strange going on, I'm not sure what happened to him. Clearly some sort, sort of uh, technical problem. Florian Carré, he actually lifted. We're looking at the nose camera, nose cone camera. Let's look at uh, Francesco's car, looking back towards Florian. Behind them is uh, Francois Philippe, Giovanni Sellito and Clark Williams. We'll uh, look at them in a second. Gerard Macarivi. Joey Miller, what happened to him? He, he actually retired. I'm not sure why. Joey was having a great race. He was in position 6, I believe, when he retired. Florian Carré, meanwhile, uh, on the inside of uh, Francesco Bernardo. Battle for fourth place. Of course, all this fighting is uh, slowing all these drivers down. That was close. Nice uh, close racing. Florian uh, lifted clearly. You see how much time he lost. Ron Wallace uh, and uh, Steve Morris with uh, who is the blue car? I'm not sure who he was. Clark Williams dropping through the standings. He must have had some problems. 
Uh, the blue car was uh, Robert Fiers, by the way, so he must have uh, rejoined the truck. Was it? I'm not sure, actually, I don't want to say something wrong. Maybe it was uh, Mark Underwood, but no, it doesn't look like it because he is uh, far ahead. Oh well. Sorry for that, I have no idea what happened. Florian Carré getting a great run uh, and disappearing under the overlays. The top three are uh, separated by 1.2 seconds, so no point by no point looking at them. I mean, the top three have been very close the whole race. It's just that uh, behind them there has been so much action. Francesco getting his position back. And everybody behind them uh, uh, catching up. It's a uh, five cars battle for uh, position four now. Florian and Francesco again uh, side by side, I would say. It's it wasn't a clear passing uh, attempt. It was just two different lines through a fast left-hander. Tim Phillips, position 20, overtaking Joey Miller. Joey, jo Joey, uh, please let me know how to pronounce it. Tim uh, is uh, currently in 20th place with uh, uh, William Slivery, but uh, Florian going side by side again. Clark Williams just overtook. Uh, Ricardo Ferreira, Rodrigo, sorry, Ferreira for position uh, 12. There is a big bump for position 12, 13, uh, 14 as well. I would like to look at them, but there is so much, ac so much uh, action here. Meanwhile, Josue Leocata has closed the gap to one second to Max Venitz. 126.07, the previous lap by Josue Leocata, that's the fastest lap of the race. 126.2 for Max Venitz, 126.4 for Barani, 126.5 for Florian Carré. Sorry, that's his best lap actually, the last lap was 127.5. So you can see how much uh, these spikes are costing these drivers. But then again, there is no chance for them to catch the leaders, so everything is fine, I guess. Let's look at uh, Clark Williams trying to move uh, through the field again after his spin. He's chasing, <coughs> chasing Cristobal Gutierrez for position 11. Behind him... Uh, Rodrigo Ferreira with uh, McLaren livery and uh, Mark Underwood. The blue car in position 14. Again, you don't need to be fighting for the lead to have a, an exciting battle in this uh, tournament. There is close and uh, safe racing, very respectful racing everywhere through the field if you want to join us please uh, do so we will be very happy to have you
let's look at Clark Williams uh, catching uh, Cristobal very uh, quickly, very effectively. He's a little far behind for an attack on the fourth corner. Doesn't quite make it, but forces uh, Cristobal wide, so he actually has to slow down and Clark will uh, probably have another chance uh, into the hairpin. Not quiet. That was surprising. I was expecting Clark to have a go at uh, on the inside. Battle for uh, four again. Was it? Well, let let me go through the standings. Max Venitz, uh, 1.5 seconds ahead of uh, Josue Leocata. Another 1.8 second currently to Luca Varani. That's the podium. Then we have uh, Florian Carré, Francesco Bernardo, Gerard Macarivi, François Philippe, Gianni Sellito. These uh, uh, four drivers, five drivers, are uh, separated by about 0.6 seconds. Gerard with a green car, the Jordan Livery. Almost passing Francesco, but uh, having to give up eventually. Joey Miller overtook uh, Tim Phillips, meanwhile, and uh, Clark Williams has passed uh, um, Cristobal in turn one. On top of the screen is uh, Joey Miller overtaking Tim Phillips on the inside, we didn't see it, and uh, Clark uh, taking position 11 from Cristobal. Going back to the battle for uh, fourth place, we are looking at uh, Francesco Bernardo from Gerard Macarivi. Marco Belfiore just overtook Darren Frazier. Let's see if we can get uh, a quick uh, replay going. Darren just uh, outbreaking himself and uh, an easy pass for Marco with the same livery as uh, Josue, so I would assume they are uh, team members. Please let me know your uh, team name, if you want it uh, mentioned here. There is no team standings in the IGP fan tournament. You can find the uh, standings at the link uh, at the bottom of the screen. This is Mark Underwood on camera. Gerald Macarivi, sorry, is uh, attacking Francesco with uh, Francois just behind them. And Darren Frazier has just overtook uh, Marco Belfiore. Marco must have had a spin because he lost uh, quite a lot of time. Looks like a great race for uh, these guys. Side by side for uh, Francesco and Gerard. This is uh, Francois looking at them. Francois is uh, 0.8 seconds ahead of uh, Gianni Salito, as you can see at the bottom, bottom right. You can see um, Giovanni's car in the mirrors, not 
Not a lot of the mirrors are actually visible from this camera angle. But you can catch uh, a little bit of them. Gerard getting the draft. And passing with uh, Gianni Selito, passing Francois. Florian Carré, <coughs> sorry, Florian Carré took advantage of the uh, fights behind him. Side by side into the hairpin again and Francois spinning out on the hairpin. Too much throttle for him and the car just dives on the inside. It's a uh, rather common mistake on this track so it's now a three cars battle for uh, position 5 when there are uh, 6 laps to go 24 laps uh, completed I would like to show the telemetry data from Varani's car but uh, just too much going on. Steve Morris and Robert Sinkins battle for 17. Steve with a red car. Christopher Gutierrez dropping uh, through the standings. He must have had some problems. And uh, Robert passing uh, Steve Morris. Whereas... Uh, Gerard Macarivi just overtook uh, Francesco Bernardo. We'll look at them uh, in a second. We'll look at the replay. Side by side racing for uh, position 5. Again, we'll look at the replay in a second. It looks some really nice action. Moving back to the standings. Again, Gerard with a green car, Francesco with a yellow car, and uh, the light yellow and light blue car of uh, Gianni Salito to close the group. Side by side into the hairpin, you can see how far ahead uh, Florian has uh, moved due to the battles behind him. That's half a lap already, side by side. Well done, Francesco and uh, Gerard. This coming corner is difficult. Yeah, in fact, uh, Gerard has uh, given up. That was smart, nice driving. It's a fast left-hander going over a crest. Uh, it's not easy to keep uh, two cars uh, side by side there meanwhile Gianni has passed Francesco uh, sorry Gerard for position 6 with 5 laps to go This is the closest battle on, battle on track, but um, sorry, 
I'm getting lost for a second there. Marque Gea is 0 0.9 seconds behind uh, Rodrigo Capelletto Ferreira. The battle for uh, 13. Going back, going back to the battle for position 5. Giovanni attacking on the outside at the hairpin. Darren Frazier has uh, caught them. Darren uh, fastest lap was uh, 26.3. His last lap 26.7. These uh, uh, drivers currently on screen drove in uh, 27.2 on the last lap. So Darren is catching them. Francesco started 11, he is 5th. Gianni Salito started 14th, he is 6th, so that's quite uh, a lot of gain. Another driver that gained 6 uh, places is uh, Rodrigo Ferreira, started 19, he is now 13. You can see a lot of action on screen, I guess you don't need me to call the play by play action. Now it's uh, Giovanni and Francesco turn to go side by side through all this section. Oh, Francesco spinning out. That's a pity. He dropped a few places. The uh, tires are probably, probably giving up a little. Is uh, two laps to go. 28 laps completed already. So now he is uh, Max Venitz, Josue Leocata, Luca Varani, Florian Carré. This position appear uh, settled. And then uh, Giovanni Sellito, Gerard Macarivi and Darren Frazier battle for fifth. Okay, I just said position was settled. Varani just overtook uh, Josue Leocata. Le Leocata must have had an accident. He, is, uh, he lost a lot of time. Let's see. This is Varani's car, this is Josue with a yellow and red car. With a just lost it, tried to counter steer to save it and actually ended up off track. Then he did uh, very well to get the car uh, back in control. Darren Frazier meanwhile passing two cars I believe. Again, it's two laps to go. We went uh, back and forth a little with uh, uh, replays. Darren uh, very wide at the hairpin. I 
that was Giovanni making a mistake. You see how much ground he lost and now he is under attack from uh, by Gerard. Marca Gea just passed uh, Rodrigo Ferreira. It's the last lap for these drivers. Max Venis, meanwhile, is uh, comfortably in the lead. Luca Varani is second. Dojo Zuele Ocata third. Florian Carré fourth. These uh, positions are not going to change. Whereas Gerard and uh, Gianni. Uh, here on camera are just uh, battling for position 6 it seems that uh, Gianni has a nice lead somebody else is uh, Clark Williams attacking Marco Belfiore this is actually the closest battle on track battle for position 9 Mark is faster, but we'll see how much faster. Uh, we'll see if he can pass, actually, that's what I mean. 126.1, the previous lap, by Clark Williams, that was very fast, probably with a, with a draft. The leaders have passed the finish line, no position change now it's uh, Clark uh, on the line with uh, Marco Belfiore oh that's not uh, that's not a good action that's actually I want to see the replay here that looked like uh, blocking blocking is uh, not tolerated but uh, let me see the replay, I don't want to say something wrong. Clark is faster, he's having a clear run. Moving. Moving on the... Um, inside sorry I keep going back but I really want to see what's going on Yes, that's certainly blocking and uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Marco Belfiore will actually be penalized and will lose his position. These are the uh, top three. Max Venitz won the race on the outside yellow car. Luca Varani second, Josue Leocata third, Florian Carré fourth, Darren Fraser, uh, Florian Carré is the yellow car here at the back, Darren Fraser fifth, Gianni Sellito sixth, Gerard Macarivi, Francois Philippe, um, <coughs> apologies for that.
and apologies for this one as well. They're actually trying to get the final standings. No. So Gerard Macarivi 7th, Francois Philippe 8th, uh, Marco Belfiore 9th, but uh, under scrutiny actually. Clark Williams 10th, Francesco Bernardo 11 after his spin in the final laps, Mark Underwood 12th, Marque Gea 13th, Rodrigo Capelletto Ferreira 14th, Cristobal Gutierrez, Ron Wallace 16th, he was not on camera for uh, a lot actually, Steve Morris 17th, Robert Simkins at the end is 18th, Charlie Parker 19th, Tim Phillips, Robert Fiers, Ralph Kemmerer 22 Joey Miller, Luca Gretti, Simone Pancri, Marco Mogren, and uh, thank you very much for uh, watching the broadcast. You can see the standings, the tournament standings after free race at the link at the bottom of the screen. Hope to see you next week uh, in uh, Monza. I hope you enjoyed the race. I actually certainly did, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.